What if the next great air defense didn't fire missiles, you know, but light? No smoke, no sound, just a beam so precise it can slice a drone mid-air in milliseconds. This is Australia's latest export weapon, a 100-kilowatt class truck-mounted laser from Electro Optic Systems, or EOS. And the first customer, a European NATO nation. Let's talk numbers. This beast can down up to 20 drones every single minute. Cost per shot under 10 cents. Compare that to a single surface-to-air missile, anywhere from $400,000 to $2 million. This is defense going from million-dollar pops to loose-change zaps. Why is this a big deal? Because drone swarms are now one of the deadliest tools in modern warfare. Small, fast, low-flying, and cheap. They can overwhelm radar, saturate defenses, and cripple billion-dollar assets. Missiles and guns can't keep up economically. Lasers can. The EOS system isn't just a giant flashlight, it's a fully integrated hunter-killer. It packs its own radar, AI-powered targeting algorithms, optical tracking, and beam lock stabilization so the laser never misses. It's mobile too, fully deployable in less than two hours on a standard military truck. The physics is as cool as the mission. The beam travels at 300,000 km per second, meaning no lead time, no ballistic arc, no travel delay. If the target's in line of sight, it's toast. And because it's a directed energy weapon, it has virtually unlimited ammo as long as there's power. And here's the kicker. This isn't some classified prototype. Production is already underway in Singapore, with deliveries starting now through 2028. That means within just a few years, NATO forces could field dozens of these light cannons across Europe. Imagine the battlefield. A swarm of hostile drones races toward a convoy. No alarms, no deafening blasts. Just silent beams cutting through the air, dropping drones like flies. No debris from exploded warheads, no million-dollar price tags, just clean instant defense. This is the future. Warfare at the speed of light, where victory goes not to the side with the biggest bombs, but to the one with the smartest beams. And Australia just put itself in the front row of that arms race. If you want to stay ahead of military tech that changes the rules before anyone else even learns the game, subscribe now. Because the future battlefield isn't coming. It's already here.